Welcome to Insightful Gaming. Today, we're taking a look at an incredible solar build for Warlocks that is even more stronger in Lightfall that will help you mow through waves of ads or demolish champions and bosses at any level. This build features one of the most unique and somewhat forgotten solar Warlock exotics, the Sunbracers, which has magnificent synergy with the solar tree. The intrinsic perk called Helium Spirals gives your solar grenades a significant boost in fire power, granting your solar grenades the intrinsic ability of fastball, providing further throwing distance of your grenades and increasing their duration by four additional seconds. But the true power of this exotic comes when it is paired up with some key components provided by our solar aspects and fragments, your abilities as well as some select choices in armor mods. You'll be flat out unstoppable as you annihilate any and everything with this ultimate solar warlock build for season 20. With this, you will easily be able to clear legendary campaign. As mentioned earlier, this is a fantastic build for Lightfall, and only gets even stronger with the seasonal mods. So, be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more build videos in the next few days as we refresh all of the builds from Season 19. A playlist dedicated to Lightfall build videos can access below. But before we dive in deeper into today's build, if you do end up enjoying the video and finding it helpful, please be sure to help support the channel below by smashing that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and really do help support the channel. So, let's get into the details of this build. We are pairing the Sunbracers up with Heat Rises, a solar aspect that provides you with the ability to fire weapons, use your charged melee, and even throw grenades while gliding. When you get kills while Heat Rises is active grant melee energy with a 20% energy return off of low-tier enemy kills, with 25% for medium-tier kills and 50% for champions, mini bosses, guardians, and other high-tier enemies. The biggest misconception about this aspect is that it doesn't require you to stay suspended in the air the entire time to reap the benefits of getting melee energy back. Even bunny hopping provides enough lift off of the ground to provide you with a return grenade energy, which can play a significant role in your survivability in in-game content as it can become extremely risky to hang out in the air. When pairing heat rises up with the sunbracers, you'll find a great deal of success by burning a grenade to activate heat rises before any engagement, defeat an enemy with your charged melee, which really becomes the core combo, and then unleash your 5 seconds of spammable solar nukes that can be instantly re-triggered with another charged melee attack. Not to mention, all of those grenade hits and kills are give you infinite melee energy, which in return gives you the infinite grenade energy. The Touch of Flame solar aspect will give our solar grenades an additional increase in their duration, but also will start to emit blobs of lava around its perimeter, which will have the ability of scorching and igniting enemies on their way. This build is incredibly fun to play and will have you destroying everything in your path. So, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting builds and gaming content. Let's dive in and see how this build can take your gameplay to the next level. Now let's talk about the abilities that we are using in this build. The first and most important one is the Well of Radiance, which is the ultimate ability that creates a large healing and empowering Well of Light. This ability is perfect for supporting your teammates during a tough battle and also provides a damage boost to any weapon that's fired through the well. The next ability we are using is the Solar Grenade, which is a high damage grenade that creates a sunspot upon impact. This ability synergizes well with the Momentum Transfer mod, helping reduce your melee cooldown. The Phoenix Dive is the class ability that allows you to dive to the ground and create a burst of solar light that heals nearby targets. We have new fragments that can also give us sustained healing, so if you don't need to have Phoenix Dive, you can also opt in for Healing Rift. This ability is incredibly useful for staying alive during intense fights, and also synergizes with Heat Rises, which provides restoration while diving and scorching targets upon landing. Burst Glide is the movement ability that allows you to quickly move around the battlefield, while Celestial Fire is the melee ability that sends out a spiral of three explosive solar energy blasts, scorching targets with each hit. All of these abilities work together to create a powerful and synergistic build. The Well of Radiance is perfect for supporting your teammates, while the Solar Grenade and Phoenix Dive provide great survivability and additional damage. Heat Rises allows for increased restoration and damage upon landing, while Burst Glide and Celestial Fire provide mobility and additional damage options. By combining all of these abilities with the right armor mons, you'll have a build that's capable of taking on even the toughest enemies in the game. In terms of weapons, the Solar Warlock build we have here is all about area of effect damage, and we have some great options to complement that playstyle. Wither Horde is an excellent choice as its area effect damage and damage over time, Effect pairs perfectly with the build's mons and abilities. The Callus Minitool is also a great option, as it provides quick and reliable close-range damage which can be crucial when you need to finish off enemies quickly. 
Finally, the Cry of Mutiny Grenade Launcher rounds out this build by providing a lot of explosive damage that can take out groups of enemies at once. These weapons are all great options for this build because they provide high damage output, a great synergy with the mods and abilities we're using, and can help you take down large groups of enemies quickly and efficiently. Sunbracers is the best exotic armor choice for the Solar Warlock build due to its synergies with our abilities and mods. With Sunbracers, every melee kill, while our solar ability is charged, grants us unlimited solar grenade energy for a short time. This pairs perfectly with our explosive abilities and mod selection. With our charged melee ability, Celestial Fire, we can take out groups of enemies with ease, triggering the Sunbracers' ability to continuously rain down explosive grenades. Now let's dive deeper into the aspects that are making this build so successful. The first aspect we are using is Heat Rises, which allows you to fire weapons, use your charged melee, and even throw grenades while gliding. The best part is that kills while Heat Rises is active grant melee energy, which plays a significant role in your survivability during in-game content. And when paired up with Sun Brazers, you can defeat an enemy with your charged melee, and then spam those solar grenades as fast as you can during the 5-second window of the Sun Brazers buff. We are also using the Touch of Flame Solar aspect which gives our solar grenades an additional increase in their duration, but also emits blobs of lava around the grenade's perimeter that can scorch and ignite enemies on their own. And since we're using Heat Rises, it makes sense to pair it up with Phoenix Dive. This allows you to get out of the air in a pinch and provides you and your allies with instant bursts of healing energy while in combat. And when performed while Heat Rises is active, you get even scorch enemies as you land. Now let's talk about the fragments that we are using for this build. To amplify the synergy between our melee and grenade energy, we are using Ember of Resolve, which is a new fragment introduced in Light Fall. It heals your every time you get a final blow with your solar grenade. You will be getting a lot of kills from your grenades, so you will have a great amount of sustained healing with this. You can also opt in to use the Ember of Mercy, which is another new fragment that grants you restoration every time you pick up Fire Sprite, and we are picking up a lot of Fire Sprites with this build. We are also using Ember of Searing, which gives us 8% melee energy back for low-tier enemies, and up to 28% for high-tier enemies upon defeating Scorched enemies. This is huge, because now this fragment gives us melee energy right away when you defeat targets, plus it creates a Fire Sprite, which when picked will give you grenade energy. We are also using Ember of Torches, with it our powered melee attacks will grant us and our allies Radiance, providing solar weapons with additional boost in damage on top of the damage boost that we will get from the new mods we are running that were introduced in Lifefall. Finally, we are using Ember of Ashes, and with it you are going to apply more Scorch stacks to the targets. This synergizes with Ember of Searing when you defeat Scroach targets you get melee and grenade energy. To further optimize this build, we have carefully selected armor mods that work seamlessly with our abilities and aspects. On the helmet, we have the Resilience mod because I always like to get at least level 10 in Resilience Solar Siphon which creates an orb of power, ashes to assets for some super energy on grenade kills. And finally, we are rocking the Heavy Ammo Finder mod, which is also brand new in Lifefall. On our Sunbrazers, we are rocking a Discipline mod to get us to 100 Discipline, which is our second highest stat priority. This means we'll be able to throw more grenades and who doesn't love a good grenade throw? Next, we're running two Momentum Transfers. These bad boys will give us a ton of melee energy back on grenade kills, which is essential to trigger the exotic perk. And let me tell you, once you get that perk going, you'll be throwing grenades left and right like nobody's business. To top it all off, we're also using a firepower mod for additional orb generation. With all these mods working together, we'll have plenty of melee energy to keep the exotic perk going strong, which means we'll be spamming those grenades all day long. Now, let's move on to our chest mods. We're continuing our focus on Discipline with the Discipline mod, which helps us reach our goal of maxing out our Discipline stat. Along with that, we're also using two Emergency Reinforcement mods, which can consume three stacks of Armor Charge to grant us longer damage reduction duration. While these mods aren't necessary, they have been incredibly useful in helping me clear the Legendary campaign. And to top it all off, we're also running the Charged Up mod, which allows us to carry one extra stack of Armor Charge. With all of these mods working together, we'll always be charged up and ready to take on any challenge. And now for the legs. In Season 19, we have the Fauna Might mod, but it's been replaced with something even better, the Solar Weapon Surge mods. Not only does it replace the Fauna Might mod, but it also allows you to keep up with the damage buff all the time. This build is so effective that you'll be dropping orbs everywhere and never lose the buff. Let's keep the momentum going and move on to our final piece of armor. And lastly, on the Warlock Bond, we're using a Resilience mod and two Outreach mods, which grant you melee energy when you use your class ability. 
This will come in handy when you need to quickly finish off enemies with your melee attack. Additionally, we're running one-time dilation mod to help maintain your armor buffs for longer. Of course, if you prefer to focus more on your armor buffs, you could replace the outreach mods with two more time dilation mods. It's all about finding the right balance for your playstyle. All of these armor mods have been carefully selected to maximize the effectiveness of our build, emphasizing our focus on grenade and melee energy regeneration, while also providing us with added benefits to different sources of damage boosts and charge with light and solar surges. With these synergies in place, we can create a formidable build that excels in combat situations, allowing us to take on tough enemies and complete challenging content with ease. In conclusion, this Solar Warlock build featuring the Sunbracer's exotic Heat Rises aspect and a variety of select armor mods provides an exceptional playstyle that excels in taking out waves of enemies or bosses at any level. The synergy between the Sunbracers and Heat Rises along with Touch of Flame fragments create a powerful and unstoppable force in combat. By focusing on maximizing grenade and melee energy regeneration, damage boosts, and charge with light, this Solar Warlock build becomes a formidable force in any combat situation. So, give it a try and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this build and found it helpful, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting builds and gaming content. Have a great rest of your week.